In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a rational function linear over linear. We're given the function here f of x. In the numerator, we have the linear function 2x minus 2. And in the denominator, the linear function negative x plus 4. So linear over linear. We're going to start by finding the vertical and horizontal asymptotes to graph. And then we're going to look at two points in each piece of the graph that we can connect to graph the function. For vertical asymptotes, we want to first simplify if possible. And for this expression, I see that I could factor out a 2 from the numerator. However, even after factoring, I don't have factors that can cancel. So we can say that this is simplified as much as possible. And then the vertical asymptote will be where that denominator equals 0. So negative x plus 4 equals 0. To solve for x, we can move the 4 over to the other side. Negative x equals negative 4. Divide by negative 1 on both sides. And x equals 4 is our vertical asymptote. So we graph the vertical line x equals 4, and then we can move to our horizontal asymptote. And for horizontal asymptotes, we look at n and m, the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. And here our n, the degree of the numerator, is 1. And our m, the degree of the denominator, is also 1. So when the degrees are the same, our horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator is 2 over the leading coefficient of the denominator. Here is minus 1. So our horizontal asymptote is going to be at y equals negative 2. y equals negative 2 is a horizontal line through y equals negative 2. And having found both asymptotes, I can now plot two points on each piece. In making a table, I'll start by plugging in a value to the left of that vertical asymptote, and 3 is to the left of the vertical asymptote, which goes through x equals 4. So I can substitute in a 3 for our x, and then in the numerator, I can see I have 6 minus 2, which is 4, and in the denominator, negative 3 plus 4, which is 1. 4 over 1 is 4. Our first point here is 3, 4, and then another point to the left of that vertical asymptote could be where x equals 2. Substituting that in, replacing x with 2, now gives us a 4 minus 2 in the numerator, which is 2, and in the denominator, negative 2 plus 4 is 2. So our y value is 1. We have the point 2, 1, and so now we can connect these knowing that we have these asymptotes that the line will get close to but not cross. Gives us this sort of shape. Moving to the right-hand side of that vertical asymptote, I can plug in 5 for our x value. Gives us a 10 minus 2 in the numerator. So that would be 8 in the denominator. Negative 5 plus 4 is a negative 1. So a negative 8 is our y value when x equals 5. Plotting that, we have this point. One more value to the right, I'll use 6 for my x value. Replacing x with 6 gives us a 12 minus 2 is 10 over negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So a negative 5 is our y value. When x equals 6, we have negative 5. And again, connecting and showing the line approaching those asymptotes gives us the shape of the graph. 